Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of BizTech Unboxed. I'm your host, Josh Lopresto, SVP of Sales Engineering. I gotta tell you, this episode is gonna be a little different because we don't have anything to unbox. This thing's gone. Uh, today, we got a platform, we got software, and we got somebody here with us in the studio. If you think about um, what's going on in the ticket management space, right? there's a lot of legacy tools and technology out there. And quite frankly, you, the partners, really haven't had a, a, an able way to sell some of that technology. So thankfully here, um, we've got Whitney Andreka from Customer with a K, who's gonna talk to us about what their platform does, how it's different, and it's really one of the first kind in the portfolio. So Whitney, welcome, excited to have you here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, Customer, who you are, why you're different, and uh, what you got cooking. Yeah, of course. Well, Josh, thank you so much for having me. Um, so Customer is a CRM for customer service. And what we do is we unify data from formerly disparate technologies that make up the CX tech stack into a singular location so that agents can best serve their customers and provide the highest level of customer experience. Um, there's one thing I do want to underline though, Josh, is that we're a CRM for customer service. And oftentimes people hear CRM and they naturally think of leads and opportunities and sales. But customer, with a K, is very intentionally focused on the customers with a C. And this really stems back to today's modern consumer. And we understand, being consumers ourselves, that today's modern consumer is drastically different than the consumer from 10 years ago, or five years ago, or even two years ago. We're different in the way that we want to communicate with a brand, the channels in which we communicate with brands, um, as well as our expectations. And our expectations, let's face it, are extremely high nowadays. We expect companies to know who we are, um, potentially why we're reaching out. We want them to see the entire customer journey from when I signed up to be a member, for example, to any orders that I've made, um, any of the, the actions that I take as a consumer, I want that company to know that and be, be predictive in why I'm reaching out. So that's really what we focus on at customer is elevating that customer experience through unification of data from these formerly disparate locations. Love it. Uh, makes sense. So talk to me then about who is this for? Who's the right fit, right? You mentioned we're, we're not just a standalone CRM, but what type of business needs this? What type of business ultimately right. chooses this? Yeah, of course. So with customer, because we're so focused on consumers, um, the style of business that we focus on is a B to C, business to consumer. So any direct to consumer type of company or a brand, anything that you or I would be able to reach out and ask you know, a question or have a comment or a concern, those are the types of business models that customer with a K typically works with. And naturally this lends itself to a certain number of industries. So that would include things like um, retail, in e-commerce, travel and hospitality, um, we also work in the financial services industry, so think of banks and credit unions. Um, we're very popular among marketplaces and subscription-based companies as well, so keep those in mind. And then the last thing that I'll highlight, Josh, is uh, you know, who we displace, because we yeah. are displacing whatever incumbent CRM there is out there. So another flag that should go off for our partners is um, companies that currently have Zendesk, currently have Salesforce Service Cloud. Those are two of our biggest competitors. And just a, a fun stat for you is approximately 80% or so of our customer base today has come from Zendesk. Oh, so wow. it's a, All a key right. I know you got Zendesk customers out there. Think of that, right? <laughs> Go to them right away. That's the whole point of this. Definitely. Okay, so uh, let's take a dive in. Let's look at the tech. Show us, uh, what does this look like, right? I'm, I'm, yeah. I want to be a customer of customer. <laughs> What, what are we looking at? It gets fun doing that. Um, <laughs> sure, so what we're looking at here, Josh, so we are looking at the customer platform. And I'm just going to orient you to what you're looking at. Okay. On the left-hand side um, is my inbox. So if I'm an agent, this is what I'm hopefully working out of 80, 90, 95% of the time, um, is this single pane of glass. So on the left-hand is my inbox. If I set myself to active, I would see a number of conversations that are routed here to me based on my availability and so on. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this so we have a little bit more space. And on the right hand side over here is what we refer to as our insight panel. So this shows us the customer, Wilson Wong in this case. Um, this gives me a quick snapshot into maybe his uh, preferred method of communication. Um, we can see that he's a silver member. And you also notice that we have these quick actions here on the right hand side. I'm going to leave this open just for the time being, but I do want you to focus your attention to the center panel here. And this is our timeline. And it's organized chronologically. Um, so if I scroll to the very bottom, I can see here that Wilson signed up for a new account on uh, May 2nd, right? Um, I can also see that he's placed a few orders. On the left hand side, I can see the various methods of communicate or the various channels of communication in which he's communicated with this company. Um, and if I click into any of these, keep an eye on the right panel here, you'll notice that those order actions on the right hand side changed. Mm -hmm. Now the, the order actions are all customizable, so this you know, depends on what the company wants to achieve. And this of course is a, a, an e-commerce or retail mm -hmm. use case. So these quick actions might be things like um, you know, return label or reship my last order, issue a credit, so on and so forth. So I have the ability to double click into any of these conversations or any of the objects on the timeline to learn a little bit more about the customer as a whole, Wilson Wong. And what I'll finish with, Josh, is I just want to draw attention to the fact that this is not a siloed ticket. This is not a siloed case. We're looking at Wilson Wong as a customer, right. and we can see the entire customer journey at a quick glance. Yeah, if I'm an agent, I love this, right? It's a yeah. real simple, I've been an agent years and years ago. <laughs> um, and so I could, I could appreciate the simplistic interface and being able to know everything that I could help this customer with, what they've been exactly. through before, what they need now. I, I do especially like to, how they like to be communicated with, because I think that's important. I mean, that's why we're that's why we're here to begin with, because right. we have to talk to people the way that they want to be communicated with. We so, need to meet our consumers on the channel of their choice. Exactly. Uh, all right. So, so let's say then uh, I love it. I love the platform. I see the value. I'm I'm maybe moving off of a Zen desk, right? What yeah. What's the process like? What yeah. What's the implementation? What's the journey? How complex is it? What happens? Yeah. Great. So. Um, moving away from Zendesk, we certainly have a lot of experience with that. Um, so what you'll get as a customer, we have a dedicated project manager, um, and that person's going to be responsible for everything that relates to um, implementation, any of the integrations tying back into those disparate technologies in the tech stack that I mentioned earlier. Um, and so that person's going to kind of do a good amount of the legwork and support the customer through the onboarding process. Um, we also have ways that we can um, import old historical tickets uh, from, for example, a Zendesk, so that can live in the platform itself and we can still reference that. Um, once the customer is live with customer of the platform, they are assigned a CSM, one of our customer support managers. And that person is really focused on ensuring that the platform is as effective as possible in trying to achieve the goals that the customer set out. Gotcha. So, yeah. um, so there's obviously a lot of data, right? We hear the phrases, data is the new oil. <laughs> you're, you're ingesting all these ways that people want to be communicated with. So you are collecting a lot of data. So let me play devil's advocate for a second mm -hmm. then and say, all right, I'm an IT administrator out there. Um, Talk to me about the importance of this data. How can I visualize it? What, what do I get to see kind of if I back out, right? What, what kind of trends or, or what are you going to be able to show me as an IT person? Yeah, absolutely. So a, a huge value add for customer with a K is the fact that because we're ingesting data from these technologies, and keep in mind we're ingesting only the most pertinent relevant data that's going to allow a customer support representative or a live agent to best serve a customer. So we're only ingesting what's, what's important there. There's always the ability to double click and, and dig a little bit deeper. Um, but the key about customer is that this data is not only viewable within our platform, but it's also actionable, reportable, and searchable. So we have an acronym for this at customer. It's VARS, V-A-R-S, viewable, actionable, reportable, and searchable. So really just to tie a bow on your question there. So what customer is able to do is put that data to use. Perfect. Um, I think if we look at the way that partners send us opportunities, so many of these things start out with, 
who do we integrate with? Who do we have that, that, that uses this platform or can work with sure. this platform? Um, talk to me about you know, what, what's your strategy from an integration perspective? Who do you play nice with? How does that work? Yeah, of course. Um, so customer is able to integrate with virtually any other technology within the CX stack using API connectivity or webhooks or some similar functionality to that extent. Um, and something I'll call out is that we are voice agnostic. So voice is the one channel that we do not have natively within the customer platform. So we work very well with all of the CCAS vendors, telephony vendors out there. Um, and I do want to draw attention to our app directory. Uh, our app directory is a one-stop shop, essentially, for a number of different companies and technologies that we have pre-built existing integrations with. So this is not meant to be a comprehensive list at all. This is big, though. I mean, look, <laughs> again, we're, the, we, I want the partners to make sure that you guys get how do I go about these? Who do I talk to? Who's the right fit? And I think you've laid out a lot of that, but you see eight by eight up here. You see people that are using Calendly. You see five nine, right? These are major players. Who's using Dialpad or Gmail or Facebook to ingest some of those messagings, right? Exactly. They've got to send it somewhere. And I think I saw uh, Twitter on here, Instagram, yeah. Gong. There's a lot. There's a lot of great stuff on here. I think that's a huge comprehensive list. And I think it makes it really easy when people can check this box and go, oh, I know they say they're open API, but they have it even on here. That's even a double win, so that's huge. Exactly, and think of it beyond the context of just voice, right? I mean, we you just highlighted a few, but we have existing integrations with big commerce or Shopify to stay within that e-commerce and, uh, and retail uh, vein, right, that we were talking yeah. about earlier. Uh, we have a lot of integrations with customer survey tools or uh, back-end contract management system. So think of all of the tools, again, that an agent would possibly need to tap into for data, and we ingest that into that single pane of glass that you saw before, which is the customer timeline. Awesome. Great yeah. stuff. Cool. Okay, so we've, we've covered good stuff. Uh, final thoughts here, right? Uh, we, we talked about you know, what, what this space looked like, and it looked like nothing because we didn't have anybody here before, so we're just excited that you're here. Um, but second of all, look, we know we're dealing with people that maybe are coming off of Zendesk or Salesforce Service Cloud. Right. Uh, we've talked about a big chunk, what you've got is all these integrations that we threw up there. Mm -hmm. I think that's huge. And so, so if, if everybody's excited and everybody's ready to go put this into action, start to find uh, opportunities that they can bring you into, what would you say that for the partners, yeah. Final couple thoughts about why people are going to pick this platform. How do you bring that home? Yeah, of course. So we focused on a few of the, the features and the, and the functionality of customer. But I think the biggest reasons why customers with a C choose customer with a K is for, for a few reasons. One is more effective, efficient agents. And that means cost savings, right? Because there's not a need to hire as many agents. Uh, you have agents that are able to handle more conversations in a shorter period of time. The ability to lower AHT, lower those cues, or minimize the cues, I should say. And the agents are able to provide very heightened, personalized customer experiences because all of that data in that singular location. So cost savings, improved customer experience are really the two key areas that I want to highlight. Um, and I would say, Josh, that if there are partners out there that are interested in this, of course, I'm always open to have a conversation and kind of dig in to see if an opportunity is the right fit for customer or not. But what I would say is keep your ears and eyes open for a few things. One is, do you have customers today that are on a, a CRM platform that's Zendesk or Salesforce Service Cloud? If you know that, that should be the first flag in your head. The second flag in your head should be, now that I know that, is this a B2C, business to consumer oriented company? Are, you know, are consumers like us engaging with this brand or with this company? Um, and from there, I would say, actually I, I have a image and a slide on this, is this is a really great slide for our partners to use and even our, our AEs use this when having conversations with prospects. And this is where a lot of our existing customers have heartburn around their incumbent CRM. So if our partners just have the ability to put this slide up and say, hey, how's your current CRM working out for you? Are you experiencing any of these issues and get the customer's head nodding, then you know, at that point, they're gonna have a better sense of if they're 
if they are experiencing these issues, they might be a really great fit for a customer with a K, and that's where we can come in. Love it. Okay, yeah. uh, great stuff, Whitney. Thanks so much for, for coming out here <laughs> and doing you. this with us. Appreciate yes, it's it. It's been so fun. Thanks, Josh. Uh, all right, everybody, that wraps us up. You heard a lot of great reasons here, why to pick customer, how to go then talk to your prospects, the value add, things that they're going through, struggle points on that. So uh, I know you're dying to engage Whitney and pull her in. Go get her contact info to the back office. Happy to set up a demo, a discussion, because uh, I think that there's a lot of great fits where we can pull this in. So that wraps us up for today. I'm your host, Josh Lepresto, SVP of Sales Engineering, and this has been another episode of BizTech Unboxed. Until next time.